Um, let's see what is in store for you here. So the first card I have out here is the Seven of Swords. And the Seven of Swords is in the reverse position. And it usually indicates, you know, cheating, lying, some type of indiscretion, some type of actions that was not very honorable has been basically revealed. When it's in the reverse position, it means it came to light. And it's, um, it's coming either from you or from another person. But I definitely feel some major, major... Um, some major revelation has recently happened, okay? What's crossing it here is the moon card. And the moon deals with confusion. It deals with a place where we don't really have all the, the information. And it also deals with a situation where, yes, it happened. There were still a lot of unanswered questions. So you're trying to sift through this. And you're trying to find a way to do, to do this, okay? Um, I'm going to pull out more cards mainly because I want to know which direction it's headed in before I can, you know, give more information on this situation for you. Um, one of the things that I do feel is that for a lot of you, you're at a major junction right now. And whatever you do, I feel as if you can't really backtrack anymore okay so it's like you 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 hit a fork in the road and you can take one route or the other but what you decide to do it's going to mean that you can't go back and you can't backtrack and take the other route if things don't work out so it is really important for you to end one thing and start another otherwise you are going to be pretty much um getting yourself into you know sticky situations or even not progressing anywhere so try to think about uh, where you want to divert all of your energy and go ahead with it. Okay, so that would be the important thing moving forward into the future. So let's talk about this situation. What I'm getting here in the recent past, this is the Four of Cups. And the Four of Cups is usually opportunities that are coming through for us. And um, when it's the Four of Cups, it's one of those things where we don't feel as if the opportunities are completely to our advantage and we don't feel as if they meet all their requirements that will make us happy. So as a result, we kind of just sit there and wait and wait and not make a move on any of these options, okay? For a lot of you, it can be in the work sense. I do feel for a lot of you, it might be in a work situation. Or for a lot of you who have recently started dating, it could just be partnerships, okay? It could just be um, like romantic partners or people that are showing interest but you're not really ready yet in, to you, you don't feel like they meet your requirements or you don't feel as if you're this is basically not going for it and um, you have assumptions that it's not going to work out so I do feel for a lot of you you are socially dating you're socially dating a lot of people potentially or you're in a situation where you're ready to date and you're getting out there but you're realizing that you know you're not feeling at your best and not feeling as it completely comfortable in your own skin just yet so what's bringing you here is the seven of swords and the seven of swords this is residual energy i do feel for a lot of you you've been hurt i do sense that for a lot of you you've been you know either dealing with somebody who was not up front with you and it i feel that the actions, yes, it hurts, but more than anything, it's, it, it's hurting your self-esteem. It's hurting your self-esteem or it has hurt your self-esteem. And you're still dealing, you're still recoiling from this and you're still trying to move past it. And one of the reasons that's making it very difficult for you to move on is because I feel like if you have been cheated on, for example, or if someone in your environment has... Um, has lied to you and they have gotten caught, I feel like there were still a lot of unanswered questions. So, you know, it, it might be one act, one final act that exposed them for who they are. But I do feel that along with it, it made you, you know, think back at all the things they've said to you. And you're thinking to yourself, you know, was it all a lie? You know, what is innately wrong with me where they couldn't be honest with me and things like that. So it is hurting your self-esteem a little bit and it is hurting your ability to as well trust in other people and to move past it. So I feel like a lot of you are hitting this major, major brick wall where you want answers and you want some type of um, full disclosure 
as to what exactly happened and you know how can I move past this and um, I'm going to say that it's not satisfying but the outcome is very good it the outcome looks very very good to me so let's talk through this situation first what's crowning this reading is the magician and when it's in the reverse position you were dealing with someone who was very very manipulative okay this is somebody who is potentially the bachelor or the bachelorette and they had no intention of settling down they had no intention of building a life or a future with another person in the reverse position this is somebody who is very charismatic they are very smart very charismatic intelligent eloquent persuasive as well and they they put on you know quite a show and when it's in the reverse position I do feel that for a lot of you this is the energy of another person that is coming into the the mix where they're the ones that might have deceived you okay and you're you're kind of what I feel happened was that I feel almost as if you know you, you trusted that person a great deal this news came to light and now you don't even know what you trust anymore you don't even know if you can rely on your own instincts anymore so it is hurting your your self-esteem I feel like in a very deep rooted way everything you thought you believed in I feel like has been taken out from under you and it's not as severe as the tower because I feel like this is something that has happened and now you're just recoiling from it or at least recovering from it the foundation here is the four of swords and the four of swords usually um, in this deck it indicates a situation where when it's in the reversed position it means that you really need to take some time off in order to rest recuperate okay and it's really important for you to process everything that has happened. You don't have the answers that you need now, but the answers are actually found from within at the same time. I know it's not a satisfying answer to give you, you know, that tidbit of information. But what I do feel is that a lot of the times when someone has cheated or lied to us, we, f we want to know, you know, the ins and out of that entire story. We want to know how, when, with whom, what exactly happened, how many times. We have all these answers that we need. Um, we have all these questions that we need answers to. And the point is, it doesn't really matter. If someone is doing that to you, just let it go. Because all the answers that they give you is not going to change anything. You will get the answers that you need, but it's not going to come in the time frame that you hope for. And a lot of the times, people, they, they want answers to these things, especially after, you know, finding out about some type of indiscretion or infidelity or some type of betrayal. They want these answers to validate the fact that, you know, oh, it only happened once and I still love you. Or she didn't mean anything to me or, you know. Um, I was lonely and, and you were neglecting me, something, you, you want something concrete and you want some answers that would make sense to you. But the point here is that the person did it, all the answers won't change the fact that they didn't consider your feelings when it happened, okay? So that's the takeaway message here. All the answers in the world cannot repair a situation. and even though we all want answers so that we can properly move on the pain comes from you know internal is internal to us so it is really important to sit with ourselves and try to mend that first in order for us to move on and then when we finally get the answers that's when it's going to be a little bit more meaningful because getting the answers now it won't change anything it won't change the fact that it happened okay so I'm very sorry for this Taurus and um, I feel like even last year too, the, the, the last week, the last two weeks of February are always, are always about, you know, a lot of um, disappointment because people hype up Valentine's Day and then when it doesn't come the, go the way they want, um, things are, things just become, you know, like a, a quagmire and it, it's hard to dig ourselves out of it. 
Now, in terms of what's coming in for you is we have the Queen of Swords. And the Queen of Swords is an air sign. So this is Aquarius, Gemini, and Libra. This is potentially somebody that you're dealing with. For those of you in, you know, romantic relationships, um, this is the energy of a person who is, I feel like, a little bit jaded and bitter and um, who's not very she or he is not ready to reveal their feelings okay this is also a card about holding back the truth so this is withholding information lying by omission potentially manipulating a situation manipulating stories in order to um, to get the outcome that we want so you are potentially dealing with somebody like this and I do feel because it's coming in whatever they're telling you is going to be a bed of lies okay so you're looking for answers you're confused and you're getting conflicting messages so you can't it's, it's really difficult for you to know who to trust at this point in terms of your this is the advice here and the advice here is the nine of swords when it's in the reverse position when it's upright, it deals with, you know, mental um, anguish. It deals with not being able to sleep at night, mainly because a lot of fears, a lot of anxiety, a lot of sadness and grief is plaguing you. When it's in the reverse, you're overcoming this situation. And I feel that for a lot of you, this is something that it's not the tower. So I don't feel that it happened this month. But this is something that you've been dealing with for quite some time. And in your external environment, you do have a lot of love and support coming in from a water sign, okay? So the water sign is um, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. A lot of you, there is love, there is support, there is understanding, and there is also that sense of camaraderie coming through. For those of you who are thinking about, you know, whether or not to, um, to date somebody this month, Go with the water sign. It looks very, very favorable. You might have both options on the table. And I do feel there is more compatibility between, you know, Taurus and a water sign rather than a Taurus and an air sign. And that can change depending on the person that you're dealing with. But I definitely feel a very warm, loving, caring and um, stable energy with this water sign in your midst. OK, in terms of your hopes and fears, we do have the hermit. And this is a fear about being alone. This is um spelling that very clearly so a lot of the times the things that we fear are the things that we need to confront okay and I do sense that um, you might want to be careful about this energy if you are afraid of being alone that is something that you need to do retreat within yourself in order to find the answers that you need in order to mourn a the end of one relationship before you start another a lot of you, this is also a card about investigation. This is like doing some digging, um, digging up somebody on somebody, digging up information on somebody, finding out, you know, deeply buried information about somebody. So this is a card about investigation. And a lot of you are kind of thinking about this direction, okay? And I'm going to say this, for those of you who are juggling two people, if you are the one juggling two people, um, just be very, very careful that confrontation and things don't break out because I feel like, I feel like one person is doing the digging and they are already getting wind of the fact that you might be juggling. So if you are doing that Taurus, um, I do feel that it's not going, you're not going to face confrontation this month, but I feel like next month is, um, is not looking great. Okay. So if you're doing that, stop or at least cover your tracks because I feel like someone is looking into this situation. I, I feel like surveillance, I feel some type of invasive, um, you know, questioning is in the store, in store. Okay. And I feel like someone is being very discreet. Someone is being very discreet. So if you are, you know, juggling two people, I feel like one of your partners might know and they're being discreet about not confronting you just yet until they gather information. If you are seeing somebody and you're suspecting that they're doing that, I feel like you already know they're doing that and you might be digging. And um, be careful what you wish for because a lot of the times people say that if only I had the answers and then, you know, they, they end up catching their mate in the act and they become very traumatized and scarred as a result. So... Just know that if you feel it, 
if you if, if you have suspicions it's probably uh, valid okay and if you're looking for answers if you have to have answers as proof then it's not going to be the proof that you want and it's also I feel as if a lot of the times you have to ask yourself you know where are where are these suspicions coming from are they even founded if they are you're probably with the wrong person to begin with so there's no point in trying to rationalize staying with the wrong person if you already feel that way so you're digging for answers looking for confirmation looking for something concrete to go off of but it's a very dangerous slope and it's a it's, it's not a good thing for you to do to to dig into personal information because all the trust issues issues that you um, that will result will be carried into your next relationship and you're going to do the same thing so just be very careful about where you're heading with this information okay what I'm getting as well in the outcome position we do have the king of coins and um, I believe this card showed up for Virgos I believe it showed up for Virgos as well so I definitely feel that in terms of love relationship you are going to get some type of reciprocity okay and if you are interested in a water sign I definitely feel some type of um, you know mutual very strong attraction coming through um, you're also going to be able to overcome this past situation where you're dealing with indiscretion, you're dealing with lies, infidelities, and things like that in order to restore your self-esteem and to realize that you do have a lot to offer and you are a very desirable dating candidate, okay? This is more of your energy or it can be another earth sign coming through. So another Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn in your midst. I definitely feel we have the justice card. And the justice indicates the universe writing a situation, okay? So this is divine intervention coming in where karma is being restored. So whatever it is, it's going to pan out very beautifully in your favor. If someone has been doing something wrong to you, I feel that the karma is coming back to haunt them, all right? If likewise, I, I don't feel this is a lot for you where you're the one juggling two things or two people or dealing with any type of indiscretion. But I do feel that the the act of, um, you know, it's like divine intervention. It is something coming in to help you in order to write the balance, to, to write the, the karmic scales of the universe. So something is being restored and even a confrontation is not even necessary. So you are going to get the favorable outcome that you want. And I feel that with the justice card, justice is blind. So... Justice will steer towards, you know, car balancing karma, towards um, balancing, you know, Im fixing imbalances in the universe. So it, it's blind. It doesn't see who's right or who's wrong. It just steers in the direction that is necessary to correct a situation. And I do feel that you are going to be quite happy with the outcome. I feel that you're going to be very, very, um, you're going to be very supported by your environment you are going to be very supported by the universe as well. For those of you who are single and looking, I do feel that people are going to flock to you, okay? If you are getting out there to date, this is a very good month to do, to do that. And I do feel, you know, air signs and water signs additionally can come through for you. And um, for those of you who are just like, um, haven't dated a water sign or an air sign, but, you know, are potentially deciding between them, I do feel the water sign would be a more favorable match. I feel like with you and an air sign, the attraction is definitely there, but there might be some communication issues coming through where you feel as if it's not flowing as smoothly, okay? For those of you who are looking for work and things like that, you're ending up in a very, very good place. And I do feel that, for example, if you made investments in the past, I feel that they're going to pan out very wonderfully for you the second half of this month. And if you are going through some legal disputes, you know, potentially, um, potentially like legal battles, like divorces and, and things like that, they're going to end up in your favor as well. So the outcome is very, very good. And I, I just feel like this cluster right here is something that you have to 
let it play out naturally. Don't push for it. Don't push for answers. Don't push for answers. Just know that, you know, move forward, okay? Like I said, one thing cannot start until the other thing is brought to an end. It is important for you to relinquish control and release just release okay and the new thing will be a lot more in alignment with your own energy level with your own vibration with the things that you want to pursue in life okay Taurus